I bet you've never seen a travel trailer with a floor plan like this before. You're in for a treat. So you were looking at the Keystone Outback 332 FK. FK stands for Front Kitchen. This is going to be really cool. First of all, one of the few travel trailers that has a 7.1 auto leveling system. So it uses jacks in the front and back as well as some additional jacks in the center area right behind the tires and the front jack to help level and stabilize a unit. It also has a really interesting storage area. So instead of going all the way across, you have a wider storage area to put things in. This is really nice because you don't have to reach towards the center to get anything. Everything you have is going to be in this area. As you can see, full aluminum frame construction. And on the driver's side, there is no storage up front, so they give you storage under this back slide here. So it's quite a bit of storage. I'd say it's roughly four feet deep by about maybe 18 inches high. A lot of storage under here. Now something interesting about this travel trailer is it doesn't ride on your traditional I-beam frame. It's actually a semi-closed C-channel frame and it runs full length of the unit and the frame is 10 inches tall. Here's one of the rear stabilizer jacks used to auto level the unit. Black tank flush. Very interesting design in the wheel. Two-tone polished aluminum with a black trim ring that runs around it. 225, 75, 15 E-rated tires. There is no upgrade to the center equalizer, which I would have expected actually. So one thing that's really nice about this unit is you do have frameless windows. They look great. Not going to give you quite as much airflow as you might get with your standard windows, but they do really dress up the outside of this unit. Here's the other leveling jack on the other side. Comes with Trailer King tires, not the nicest tires. I would probably want to upgrade those to an all-steel tire as soon as I could, especially with a unit that weighs this much. The awning system on here is a little confusing because it does extend over the slide, but the slide only comes out about a foot and a half, two feet, so it's not really going to take up that much of the space beneath the awning. So it has regular incandescent rear tail lights, incandescent bulbs up top. It is prepped for a backup camera, and it has a fold-down luggage rack, which is really nice. This is a great feature to have on travel trailers. Use it for bikes, coolers, generator, whatever you need. Here are the rear leveling jacks has the dual entrances, so this will take you directly into the back master bedroom. Aluminum steps for both front and back. And something that's also kind of unique about this coach is that it has a window on the back door and a handle. In many cases, the back door does not have a window or a handle. Overall, this is a really nice unit. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Sticker on this shows that it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,500 pounds cargo rating of 1,900 pounds. Again, 225, 75, 15 E-rated tires. Now, real quick before we step in here, I want to show you that this has a cable-driven slide system. It's very, very common amongst Keystone units. I don't necessarily have a particular type of system I like, but I have heard that you got to be more careful with these cables because if the system comes out of alignment, this is one of the more complex systems to realign. Not a bad system. Montana's have been using them for a long time. Montana being the number one selling RV brand in the country, it's probably a pretty reliable system, but I have heard of some horror stories dealing with these. Now this is a 332 front kitchen again. So this is kind of the story behind this unit. First of all, you have this massive front windshield, which is really nice, and you have this large dinette area right here. The way they kind of refer to it is kind of like the Outback Steakhouse kind of seating area. Very, very large table. If I had to guess, I would say probably four feet wide by about three feet deep. Just a tremendous amount of room, and it converts into a queen-size bed. So if you're not using this as a table, you have extra sleeping accommodations for guests that you may have with you or just the children. Now this is a front kitchen, but the kitchen truly extends pretty much to the midpoint of this coach. A lot of counter space, and this is a solid surface countertop. You get the huge basin sink. I prefer the one with the divider, but I guess this is kind of the trend right now, and the RV industry kind of relies on trends. But as you can see, a lot of counter space here. It looks like it's about 25, 26 inches deep. 
a lot of space it wraps around. The slide actually collapses into the kitchen slightly, so this is pretty cool because it's a unit that you can still have some access to even when the slides are in. The slide over here on this wall is not that deep of a slide. It looks like it's about two feet deep, so you'll still have room to negotiate around it if you need to use a restroom or something like that on the side of the road. It has more of a compact stainless steel microwave as well as the black refrigerator. Typically you see the stainless steel microwave and that stainless steel panel transfer to the refrigerator, but in this case it doesn't. Vent hood, nice cabinets up here. You know, I would like to see little hydraulic lifts or at least a locking mechanism that can hold the cabinet up in this unit. Has some nice trim and detail work throughout it. Has dual air conditioning, so this is the main air conditioning, which is also ducted. And then you have another air conditioning unit in the master bedroom at the back of the coach. So another thing to note, right next to the entry door, you have another door here. And this is a pretty large door, and when you open it, it's just a very, very sizable pantry area. It's probably roughly 22 inches deep, and it's about three feet wide. So you have a huge pantry in this travel trailer, which is relatively uncommon. Also, you have theater seating on this side, as well as a hide-a-bed seating on this side. So the love seat folds out into a full-size bed, and you have some theater seating right here. The TV, which is a 55-inch TV, is able to pull off the wall and rotate. This is kind of one of those areas where it's kind of a love-it-hate-it relationship, where you like this living room setup, except you're kind of close to the TV if you're sitting on either one of these chairs. So if you don't have the TV pulled out and rotated towards you, it's going to be a hard angle to look at. On the other hand, if you do have the TV pulled out, rotated towards you, and you're sitting on the love seat here, you may not be able to see it. So I prefer rear living room floor plans, mainly because they give you that L shape with the sofa and love seat, so it's easier access for everyone to be able to view the TV together. Real wide fireplace, which is kind of the trend right now. Storage all around it, plus on top. This does have the Coleman mock air conditioning system. I've heard some rumors that it's a little bit more efficient than, than the Dometic unit, um, and it's also a little quieter, but it doesn't have as much of a reputation for reliability, even though I can imagine it's still a pretty reliable setup. Cabinets above the love seat. Again, really, really cool floor plan, mainly because you got this huge dinette area, a really, really nice size kitchen, really good cabinet layout, big pantry, nice seating, I, again, just wish they would have come up with a way to make the seating a little bit more conducive to a family sitting and wanting to watch TV or a movie or something. As we work our way further back in the coach, you'll see your control panel here on the wall. Going into the bathroom, it has dual entry into the master bedroom. So you have a really tall shower here. The sink and medicine cabinet is back here behind the door. Lots of room. So the shower itself can probably easily accommodate someone in the six foot two height area. If you're any taller than that, your head's probably gonna be up into the uh, skylight. Lots of cabinetry. So that's a really nice feature of this unit. So you get a lot of cabinetry. You can put a ton of towels or clothes or whatever you need to, toiletries inside this unit without a problem. Plus cabinetry under the sink as well as a nice medicine cabinet back here. Walking into the master bedroom, this is a huge master bedroom. It is a single slide, but it's one of the longer super length slides. So this slide is probably closer to three feet in depth, and it gives you a tremendous amount of room in front of the bed. This is also a king size bed, so they fit a really large bedroom in the back of this travel trailer. Cabinets all above, nice tall slide out, well trimmed off and a lot of cabinets here. So if you're gonna be a full-timer and you want a travel trailer or you're gonna go for extended trips, this is a nice setup. Now there is not gonna be a connection for washer and dryer, so just keep that in mind. You'd probably have to stay at an RV facility that offers you know, the ability to use washer and dryers at a clubhouse. But it does give you a lot of cabinetry, a lot of dresser drawers, and a tall cabinet back here that is gonna be like a wardrobe cabinet, along with a nice hanging rack above it. LED lighting all the way throughout. Also really nice is they give you some hanging hooks here. In the back, it also has a direct fire uh, Coleman mock air conditioning system, which blows straight down. This is a 13.5 BTU unit in the back and a 15 BTU unit up front. Here's your thermostat. The back unit does not have a thermostat. You control it directly on the air conditioning itself. Overall, this is just a really cool unit. 
Overall, guys, this is a really nice coach. Now, it's a fairly pricey one. This unit runs about $53,000, $54,000 MSRP, and the selling price is usually going to be in the high 30s to low 40s. I believe this particular unit was about $41,000 as far as the sales price. Once again, guys, I really appreciate you for watching my channel. This unit's currently at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas. They are really, really great to work with here. They don't pressure you, they don't follow you around, and they just give you the opportunity to look at a selection and then have a salesperson kind of guide you through the details about that specific one you looked at when you're ready. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you again soon.